and May 26th shows up. One of the important things about May 26th is that that is the day that they break up. And there's <coughs> much is made by the defense that, well, during these conversations, he's mean to her. Well, why wouldn't he be mean to her? Yes, there are names that people are being called. That's correct. There are not any nice names. But he is extremely afraid of her stalking behavior on May 26th when those names are called. And there are there is anger that is being exchanged back and forth, and he sort of capsulizes it by saying, or using a term that's not quite so sexual, but really capsulizes what's going on here and how the defendant attempts to manipulate the truth. When he says, I am nothing more than a dildo with a heartbeat to you, that's what he tells her, because that's how he feels. That's how she makes him feel. And yes, he uses all of those other words, but he's also very derogatory about himself. He knows what's going on every time that, according to that statement, whenever she wants him, the way that she manipulates him is through sex. That's made that comment. So, and that comment was on the 26th of May in that instant message. But you don't ignore what else is going on on the 26th of May of 2008. On that prophetic day, he also tells her something else in Exhibit 450. She's apologizing to him. Again, she's manipulating him. She does something and she apologizes and everything is supposed to be okay. But by this time, he has had enough. And he says, I don't want your apology. I want you to understand what I think of you. That's what he's telling her. He's telling her he wants her to understand what it is that he thinks of her. He says, I want you to understand how evil I think you are. At that point when he's writing that, he is extremely afraid of her because of her stalking behavior. And he does think she's evil. And how prophetic. Look at that, these next words, how absolutely prophetic. No one can dispute that that is the truest, those are the truest words that are spoken in this case. And they're spoken by Mr. Alexander, even though he is not here, through his writings. You, Jody Arias, are the worst thing that ever happened to me. Any doubt that that's the truth? Do we need to look at the pictures of his gashed throat? Do we need to look at the sort of frog-like state that she left him in, all crumbled up in that shower? Or do we need to look at his face where she put that bullet in his right temple to know that what he says there is true? You are the worst thing that ever happened to me. He's telling her, enough is enough. And yes, he's angry, absolutely angry, after everything that she has done to him. And you've seen the manipulation as she has tried to manipulate you with what she has told you. And the prime example is these gas cans. No one can argue that she lied to you. Well, he's had enough. And yes, he says, you are the worst thing that ever happened to me. And then he says, in this exhibit 450, you are a sociopath. No, he does not have a psychology degree. But that certainly expresses a feeling about what she says, what she does, and how she deals with him, how she always is manipulating him. It teases this anger out of him and tries to mix in the sex, and he says, you only cry for yourself. Well, you saw her crying on the witness stand, and anybody debate the reason she was crying is because she cries for herself. After all, she never intended to be caught. She said that so herself when, after she lied to the police. Oh no, I was saying it because I did not want to be caught. And so, you only cry for yourself. And then he says, 
you have never cared out me, supposedly that could be four, and you have betrayed me worse than any example I could conjure. She has betrayed him. For whatever reason, he believes that she has done something that is, that is absolutely horrific. And he's telling her, I've had it. I'm done with you. And again, this is May 26th. It's done with her. You are sick, and you have scammed me. Again, she has scammed him. Are you going to allow her to scam you? Is really the question from this text message. 